it, it's a it's a sad situation to see that in today's landscape of college sports in which look man i mean people's lives are truly affected at the end of the day bill armstrong has 5 kids and just to be able to levy a violation or an alleged violation like that with no proof, nothing on record, no camera, no video, nothing putting anybody in any circumstance or any situation at any time, just somebody saying, hey, they did this, they offered this, and I'm just telling you that that happened. Okay, good, level one violation. Don't have to prove it. Is a very sad state of where college sports is and shows you really the crusade that people were on to get LSU basketball. The fourth level one violation, the five, there's five of them, right? Against LSU Hoop and, and Will Wade. The fourth violation, level one violation, with the impermissible contact to the recruit. That's Christian Watford. Excuse me, Trendon Watford, who's balling right now in the NBA. I mean, like, going, he's going nuts. But that's Trendon Watford at his state championship game in Alabama his senior year. Bill Armstrong coached and has a relationship with the family dating back to when Trendon was two or three years old. That's how LSU got Trendon Watford because of that relationship. Nobody cheated to get Watford. Nobody paid anybody. Everybody's on record that's been interviewed. The entire family's been interviewed. You saw the Christian Watford tweet as soon as the news came down on Wade stating on their relationship and how he feels about Will. But that was a violation that LSU self-reported to the NCAA. So what happened was is that Armstrong and Wade go to the state championship game and watch Watford play, which is perfectly legal. They go to a restaurant after the game that they're at first. They're there first. The Watfords walk in after the game, after the celebration. Armstrong and Wade have their own table. The Watfords go sit in the back room to go celebrate. They're not talking. They're not... Christian Watford, who's the brother... And the mom come and sit at the table to talk to Bill Armstrong, who they've known their entire life. An Alabama fan takes a picture of them sitting there in the restaurant in Birmingham, sends it to the NCAA, to the SEC. SEC self-reports it, reports it to LSU. They go back to LSU. They sit down. They show them the picture. They say, yeah, this is what happened. We were sitting at the restaurant. We did this. We can self-report it. They took Will Wade and Bill Armstrong off of the recruiting trail for a month in the height of recruiting season going back to that recruiting year. LSU self-reported it, self-penalized himself, and the NCAA knew about that. And if I'm not mistaken, gave them like a kind of a nod of approval for taking Wade off of the recruiting trail along with Armstrong for the month. So they had recognized that violation. It had been penalized. They were good with the consequence, but now they were able to come back in this allegation, notice of allegation, and deem it a level one violation. The first level one violation on on, on the notice of allegations, is dealing with Javante Smart and the wiretaps. I've been mistaken the whole time. I had no idea. I've been saying the entire time that they couldn't prove what the strong-ass offer was about. That's wrong. They did prove it. They interviewed everybody that was involved. Shannon Foreman, who was the coach at the time that they were trying to offer to get onto the staff, is what they were talking about. They interviewed Foreman. It was well described. It all played out. Javante Smart missed one game. He was back in action. Four years later, it's a level one violation. It was already reported. They were already penalized for it. And then the most egregious violation of them all that looks 
the dumbest and is the sloppiest. But come to find out, the way that Wade was caught on this was that he saved the text messages on his phone that he handed over to the NCAA that that phone had the text messages between he and an ex fiance of a player at VCU. That player had nothing to do or was ever with LSU. LSU knew about that because Wade told them what was going on because it was a case that he was trying for extortion. He was going after her for extortion. He was saving the text messages because of the the pending investigation, the investigation at the time when he handed over the phone. That was all reported. People knew about it. And again, it went back to VCU. There was nothing here at LSU. So you stack up all of those situations. There's an explanation, and some have been ruled on all up to this point. It's exactly what the NCAA wanted to happen, happened last week. They wanted the story to be so big, and it just become too much where LSU just taps out. And when you look at all those violations and you look at what could be coming down the pipe, I get it. I understand. But there's still no proof on anything. I mean, you've got the direct deposits, but all of that, they, they know, they've known about that. That's nothing new. They knew about that in 2017 when the stuff first started. The federal government had all of this stuff. This all started with the federal government. The NCAA has no subpoena power. They've got no power to pull records. They've got no power to tell you to sit down and take an interview. The federal government, they don't subpoena you. They get that stuff. They had Wade's phone records. They had Wade's bank account records. They had people that they were investigating throughout this process as bank account records. All of that stuff, they didn't have any. There was nothing going on. I mean, people have been arrested in this situation. I mean, you remember the story with Book Richardson in Arizona with Nas Reed? If, if, if we've all watched the scheme, Book Richardson told Sean Miller that Will Wade offered Nas Reed $300,000 to come to LSU. When the federal government and the NCAA sat down with Book Richardson, he said he totally made it up. He's never even met Will Wade. The federal government said, why? He said, well, because I just couldn't look like an asshole in front of my coach. I thought we were getting Nas Reed. LSU swooped in at the last minute and got him. And I just had to make something up to make my... Kind of cover my ass, cover, you know, CYA. It's over. Wade's gone. He's not coming back. LSU's facing harsh penalty. But I'm just saying that there's an explanation behind all of those violations, and there's still no proof. There's no proof to anything new. They knew about that stuff, about what was happening with the transactions and the deposits and all that stuff. That was at VCU. Wade was forthright about that throughout the whole process. And the reason why he got caught wasn't because she was singing. It was because the phone that he handed over had the text message on it and the NCAA just read him and that's what they put in their report because that's all they can do. It sucks, man. It sucks. That's the situation. I mean, $300,000 for a bat. Who in LSU is struggling to keep Kayshawn Butte on the, on, the, on the football roster? They're struggling to find people to pay the best player maybe in the sport next year. You think somebody's just volunteering three hundred dollars for a basketball player that they've never heard of? $300,000?
Leonard Fournette didn't get 300K. Allegedly. 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 Harold Perkins didn't get 300K. That's on the books. He good. Pat Pete didn't get 300K. Allegedly. 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 But I mean, that Musa Sisse, 300,000 academic help, job for the parents, place to live. Come on. I mean, unless this guy's Shaquille O'Neal, unless this guy is a lottery pick, guaranteed, bona fide, number one pick. No, but I mean, $300,000. Well, where did you read that? Where did you see that? Well, nobody has it. They're just alleging that that happened. Well, it's just he said, she said. Damn. Bill Armstrong can have a level one violation hanging over his head for the rest of his coaching career can be staring down the barrel of a three to five, maybe a 10 year show calls on just by somebody alleging that they said that. That's how fragile this situation is. Why can't we pick up the phone and say Zion got paid 400,000 to go to Duke. Well, how do you know? I don't know. I just heard it. I mean, situation that this this situation i mean it's screwed man i mean it, it is it's tanked did Wade deserve to go look man i'm not i'm not going to sit here and debate that's a that's a mountain of evidence that's a mountain of stuff that you're you're talking from a pr standpoint but that's exactly what the ncaa strategy was the entire time was to build this mountain of of a case that is fragile in facts but from a PR standpoint, would be tough to overcome. And at some point, let's just hope that LSU just kind of taps out and says, we can't deal with this anymore. Throw the football stuff in there. Intimidate the hell out of them. Read the football allegations outside of the Our Lady of the Lake stuff that they knew about five years ago. What's new? That Odell Beckham paid $2,000 to players on the field after the national championship game? Does it look bad? Yes. Did he get the money back? Yeah. The majority of them are in the league now and were after that game. And in today's scope of NIL world in which we live in, we're really going to look back and penalize this? And you're going to break this down to like a, a moral, legal case? What's the morality of it that he's trying to pay? impoverished impoverished families and people that are struggling coming up on a million multi-million dollar business that they have the most input on they don't get a piece of the pie and then the ones that's baking it three hundred thousand for musa sisse he had his third school he trans i think he's transferred twice since memphis I know for sure he left Memphis, so he's at his second at least. But they, if this all the, if this only goes back to the fact that the NCAA got another one, all it took was a little intimidation and throwing the football in there. I mean, you were almost at the finish line, right, with Will Wade? Weren't you going to be able to hit the hit the one ramp without getting caught by the police? Like, it was time to exit. And instead, they slowed down and got pulled over. Like it was – you were near the exit sign. You were almost there. You were almost home. You were almost to Mexico. And then they just finally gave in for really the way you lay it out. It wasn't anything that they didn't already know about. It was nothing new. New. I think the 2020 allegation was very easy to find out. I mean, it's just, it's scary in that world to think that you can face a level one violation with zero, zero evidence. There's no text messages. There's no phone calls that are recorded. There's no cameras catching somebody in a situation where they're meeting where they shouldn't be. There's none of that stuff. It's just he said that they offered all of this. Level one, dock them. It's crazy, man. And you can't appeal, right, in this process once it gets Will the, Wade. Uh... Will Wade has 30 days to respond. LSU has 30 days to respond, and then the NCAA has... Uh, 60 to 90 days to respond to it. Uh, it's, it's the same thing. They have 60 days to respond, Wade and LSU, then the NCAA has 60 days to respond. I mean, it's going to be four or five months before you know anything. Um, Would Will Wade respond just to 
what's his next, like, what would you imagine his next plan of action is just to oh, set absolutely. himself up for the future? Absolutely. He has to respond. Yeah. I mean, well, I know LSU does. Sure, LSU does just to find out but what they're the not going to do it in be. But now, you know, I mean, Wade becomes an independent party. Right. That's right? what I'm saying. They're not right. going to do it as a. No, I mean, Wade is representing himself now. Um, but yes, I mean, he looks forward to the day. He's still, I mean, that soundbite that we heard last week makes a lot more sense after speaking with the people that I spoke to yesterday and hearing the side of the story of really what it is. Right. And. I mean, all of that stuff has been described. Does that stuff look grimy and slimy and look 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 like it's college know, basketball? Yeah, it does. But all of it is explainable. You know what I mean? Really, at the end of it, which is wild.